All right, in this tutorial, we're going to look at the concentric geometric constraint. In order to do this constraint, we're going to need to have a circle. I'm going to go ahead and just place one randomly on the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and place a second circle. Now, we have to understand what concentric means. It means that they're going to share the same center point. So, a super easy command to use. We, we just click on the concentric geometric constraint. We select one of the circles, and then we select the second. It automatically places them with the same center point. Now, we could then use coincident and snap from the center point to our origin. It would lock them in place. We could also add dimensions to these by selecting a, a circle and clicking a dimension. I'm going to go ahead and type in 1.25 and I can do the same thing for this outside circle. Do 1.5 and another thing you can do with the concentric is if you have an arc such as this one here we can select the concentric geometric constraint select the arc again and then select one of these circles and you can see that the arc now shares the same center point. 